Hey everyone, today I decided I wanted to make an intro video for all of my YouTube videos. Um, a lot of the big uh, named YouTubers use some sort of logo intro. I decided I wanted to have something. And I wanted to do it with my, my uh, logo that I have. Um, mainly this one here where it says Tweak Big. Um, but I wanted to make uh, two different animations out of this, so I split them um, into two different files, a tweak file and a big file. And then I decided I wanted to try and tackle this myself. And I'm going to show you guys today how I ended up doing it. Um, I used PowerPoint um, to do it, uh, as well as a free program called VideoPad Video Editor. Um, so uh, this will work if you have access to PowerPoint. Um, and then you can download this free uh, VideoPad Video Editor. So the first thing um, I did was just with any uh, image editing tool, I bro like I said, I broke the, my logo down into two files. Um, and then I went ahead and opened up the PowerPoint program. And I'm just going to show you the um, program, the actual file that I used. Okay. so. Basically what we did is I just brought in two images. So I went ahead and I said insert and picture and I put the tweak and the big in there. And then what I did, and this is all in one slide, um, and then what I did was when I clicked on tweak I went ahead and I click on that one and we'll say animations. And you can add different types of animations to uh, this like an entrance or emphasis or an exit uh, animation. So, if you bring open the animation pane, you'll be able to see uh, the animations that I did. I actually have um, s like uh, two, five, uh, five animations here that I'm using, um, and you can see that these two happen first, then this one, and then there's a little bit of a pause, and then the exit uh, one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks when it's done. You can see it kind of comes in, it kind of wiggles a little bit, and then they exits off. So to do that, I just added different um, animations uh, through this animation up here, add animation, and, and using the uh, animation pane and just sliding these around to set the times that I want. So it's pretty easy. Uh, so you can see here the first one is the tweak coming in, and then you can see that goes off. Um, at the end and then the next one is the big coming in and shaking and it goes away as well so you can kind of see how they all each one works um, so then I, what I did from there now there's no sound on this so then what I did from there is I went ahead and exported this and you can say create video and I did um, before I show you that let me go back and when you look at this, it tells you how long it is. Um, 3.8 seconds is how long it takes to uh, finish it. So what I did was when I exported it, um, I did it at 1080. Um, and then I changed this to 3.8 seconds per slide. And then just hit create video. And then what it did was it created um, this video uh, in this folder here. So it created this video. So I'm going to open that and show you what it did. So I created this video right here. And then what I did is I needed to add sound to that. So um, I found a sound file that I wanted on this site. It's orangefreesounds.com. Um, and they have a sound logo music section. So I found one here that I liked and I downloaded it and they're free to use. Um, and I will say that I did pick the music first and that the music was 3.8 seconds so then I uh, tailored the length of the animation to the, s the length of the music so um, that way it all ties out here on the last step so the next thing I did then is opened up the video pad editor and I dragged in the sound file uh, which is this one right here and also then the, lo the logo intro file that I created in PowerPoint um, so let me go ahead and, and then that was in a uh, this project right here, a video pad project. 
So basically, you, you have a video track and you have an audio track. So, and you can just drag them right into this bar and right into this bar. And you can then, basically what, what this program is allowing me to do is just add audio to the video file. So, now I can go ahead and play this here. And you can see what it's going to look like. So then, what I did was I exported the video file um, right here. And I made it 1080p and just gave it a name and saved that. So then, um, so then that created this file, which is the very final uh, file, which is the one I'm going to add in uh, to the beginning of all my YouTube videos. So I'll go ahead and open this up. and that's the finished that's the finished project so that's how i created my own uh... youtube uh... intro video that i'm gonna use on my videos going forward um, it's my first attempt so i think it turned out pretty good and um, i'm gonna go ahead and you know maybe down the road maybe i'll uh... you know improve on it or something but for now um, that's the one i'm gonna use and i wanted to show you guys how um, i built that and didn't have to pay anyone to do it for me. So I hope that uh, is helpful for you. Thank you.